Well, I figured we'd go after the fighting dojo. You know, we might as well farm for some additional experience before we go after Giovanni. Um, just because, you know, he has Kangaskhan, it has, you know, the ability to wake up early because of early bird. Admittedly, an inferior ability to uh, Insomnia. Because with early bird, you can still sleep a target. They just usually wake up, like, instantly. Um, so, yeah. It, it would have been better if he had that on Kangaskhan. But, you know, Kangaskhan got a good ability eventually when it Mega Evolves, so it's not all bad for Kangaskhan. And we'll deal with this Mankey the same way. I mean, it's got terrible special defense. I knew it was going to get torn apart. I mean, come on. Even Primate may not survive the side beam hit. Oh, yeah, this thing's got Vital Spirit. Gosh darn it. I forgot. I should have just went for the kill. <laughs> Oh, now it's going for Rage? Why would you do that? At least, you know, Seismic Toss did a decent amount of damage. Rage is still a garbage move. I mean, it's not as garbage as it used to be, but it's, you still have to take a lot of hits to power it up. And it's something fearsome. And Primate's not got any of the defensive stats it needs to do that. Like, you'd have to pass so many buffs onto a Primate for it to actually be able to use Rage effectively, it wouldn't be worth it. It would take so much effort, man. Like, way, way too much. Like, I would never recommend that as a strategy. Like, ever. Okay, let's go for uh, another Psybeam hit. Because we get double damage effectively. And at this point we can probably end it with Aerial Ace. Even with its better physical bulk, I'm guessing. Because um, we do get stab and bonus damage there. So, you know, the effective power is probably higher than Psypheans at that point. Even if our uh, base attack stat isn't as good. Okay, let's grab some potions, I guess. I mean, we bought them, we might as well use them. Eh, one's probably enough. Now I'll deal with Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, right? What's with these fighting guys and shattering boulders with their own fists? That doesn't make your Pokémon tougher. Though, I'll admit, he has a Primeape, so that does intimidate me slightly. Um, Psybeam. It's not like I can sleep it, so if it does something nasty, I got no counter. Oh, I got lucky critical hit, because that really isn't very effective at all. Because we get four times resistance as a bug flying type to fighting moves. So he got lucky. And now we gotta deal with this guy. Jeez. At least it's not double battles, man. A manky, huh? These guys really like, uh, their pig monkeys. I'll probably want to go heal after this, though. I really didn't factor in, you know, my, uh, PP count when I started this. Another manky? Come on. Manky's not gonna threaten me. And in comes Primeape again, of course. I guess we can try air lays and see if it does more damage. It did. But it's still not gonna knock it out. But at least we can sure we don't miss. Okay. And we definitely want to heal at this point. Like, we're quite beat up. Of course, if we took another step forward, we would have had to fight Hitmon Chan Hitmon Lee. Which would have been bad. I mean, maybe if we brought along Psychic, it would have been f fine, but... Ugh, come on, get me off the side of the building. We're trying to hold off on that for now. I don't think we can evade Sylphco yet. I think it's still too early, though. Maybe they unlocked it already, but I'm pretty sure we have to get the scope first before we can go in there. Because that would make sense, yeah. Because they want you to go rescue Mr. Fuji first. So you can, you know, get the Poke Flute. 
Which has been a key item for us in another run. Oddly enough. Yes, yes, expect no mercy! For we have none in this dojo! Problem is, uh... Despite being closer to, you know, our level, Hitmonlee's not that... Um, scary, really. Go with a side beam. Okay, it's gonna be a three hit kill. It wasted a turn on Foresight. Why? Uh, try and go for Aerial Ace, I guess. It's probably the better option. <laughs> um, and yeah, down it went. So that takes out Hitmonlee. And that just leaves Hitmon Chan. Hmm. It's I guess it's cool that they got named after, you know, famous uh martial artists slash actors, but uh Hitmon Chan's just so awful in in Gen 1. Like so bad. It feels like a joke. Like it has all those elemental punches, but it doesn't have enough special to use any of them. Like, why would you do that? Like, Hitmonchan was glad when Gen 4 came came along. He actually used elemental punches, you know, effectively. I mean, I don't know if it was like it was the greatest thing that ever happened to it. It may have been way too late at that point for a sub-punch to be a good strategy, but... You know, at least they could finally use them during the story mode, effectively. <laughs> That's more than I had going for it before. Well, next time, you know, we'll, uh, go deal with the rocket plotline. I guess I'll, uh... Deal with the first rocket in that group, you know, and open up the hideout. Before we call it quits. Yes, he's guarding a poster. That's not suspicious at all. Well, another chunky Raticate. Psy Beam. Honestly, Aerial Ace probably would have been better. But it's fine. And out comes a uh, Zubat, of course. That's that's definitely what I would pick for this battle. Yeah, I know. It's not like the AI gets a choice in its Pokemon, but I just kind of wish they would uh, level with the player a bit so they stayed more threatening. Uh, but you can't have what you want in these games, right? In some cases. Yeah, you can't push it again. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Next time, you know, we'll uh, deal with the hideout proper. Until then, see ya.